What's up everybody, Coach Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Overwatch video, and in this video we're going to be going over the brand new experimental mode changes and talk about what these implications are going to be for the meta, what characters you should play, and give you some actual tips about what you should be doing from now on. But go to the Game Leap website right now in the description down below for in-depth advanced tips, VOD reviews, map guides, hero guides, I mean we got it all on the Game Leap website, so do yourself a favor, go check it out in the links down below, but without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now for content Context, let's give you a little bit of a meta recap the state of the game after all the big changes that happened a little while back well the thing you need to first understand is that the meta is very top down where the meta first changes at the highest ranks and then slowly but surely starts to affect the lowest ranks. so we have been seeing a dramatic shift away from honor allowing double shield to thrive Zen Baptiste Mercy and DPS characters that work really well with Sigma and Orisa seeing play at the highest levels and a lot of this is being enabled by Baptiste now that being said you might not be seeing double shield in every single one of your games but that's probably for two reasons one it hasn't been enough time yet where the trickle down from the upper you know best compositions has happened because like I said it happens at a slower rate usually the highest ranks find out what the best composition is first and then the second part is just the state of ranked play but honestly double shield is going to get you so many free wins because people just don't know how to play around it and it brings a ton of intrinsic value and a lot of this is all all being enabled by Baptiste but we're gonna see some interesting changes in this patch to Baptiste and then two other tanks that is actually going to maybe shift the power level of what is gonna be the best composition just in time to save the lower ranks or the mid to lower ranks from the double shield monster now first off the actual cause the root of the problem is Baptiste and he got some interesting nerfs here first off his immortality field got a health decrease from 200 to 150 and his amplification matrix ultimate cost got increased by 15 percent now the amplification increase in cost is probably pretty good considering it's gigantic now and it was already so easy to build up before however i really don't think that this is enough of a change in the amplification matrix department i really don't understand why they decided to make amplification matrix you know the size of an entire football field this has become one of the single most powerful ultimates in the game that is so easy to build and even with this increase it's still gonna be so easy to build especially when you're playing it in double shield now that being said i really love application matrix and its potential and you know the ability to combo with other abilities like fire strike and dynamite and things like that however i think they really push the bounds on this ultimate and i do like this increase it's gonna help a little bit but i don't really think it's gonna change all that much now the more interesting change actually is the immortality field change making its health from 200 to 150 now this is an actual pretty big deal the best way to think about this is now immortality field is like a tracer so any combo that would kill a tracer will kill an immortality field now that being said it doesn't really always work that way and what i mean by that is immortality field often especially when it's used well generates value instantaneously you know you're throwing it down to counter an ult like a flux you're getting pushed really hard by the enemy team and the immortality field around the corner now does it matter that this has a less health eh, not really when you can't even challenge it in the first First place now of course any nerf to immortality field is going to be great for you know just regular baptiste play but specifically thinking about double shield which is what really is the meta and which is really what we're talking about this doesn't really help all that much now this is going to be a nerf to that power level of that composition but it's by a very very small margin if they wanted to nerf it in meaningful ways they really need to either nerf baptiste by a lot of the steps that they buffed him by by his healing and different things like that or they need to nerf the tanks that actually make up the composition in Arissa or Sigma. However, Blizzard went the other approach, and this is an interesting change. They actually decided to buff tanks that are in other compositions to put power level into them. So first off, they buffed D.Va, and what they did is now the mech armor health has been redistributed from 200 armor, 400 health to 300, 300. Now, as we know, armor is the best form of health in the entire game. It's going to to basically let her be more survivable in a number of different situations and diva has been changed in this regard over and over and over again i mean non-stop they're just messing with diva's numbers now this could hypothetically enable diva to be a little bit more powerful but i really don't think that this is a big enough change to fundamentally strengthen diva to where she needs to be diva's place has kind of been lost for a while now ever since they really heavily hit diva back in the old days diva has never really recovered and this change doesn't seem enough to 
not only make D.Va powerful enough to just create a composition by herself or enable one like with a dive with monkey but also she just isn't very good up against double shield however I do like that they're buffing other tanks especially D.Va. D.Va probably needs more buffs than just about any other tank but I don't think that this is going to dramatically change the meta by any means but the next tank change and the last change that we're going to talk about is probably the most potential meta changing change in the entire list so reinhardt the man the myth the legend he got a base armor increase from 200 to 250 so automatically he's just more tanky he has more survivability which is going to be a pretty big deal and even more important than that his rocket hammer its damage got increased from 75 to 85 damage now, first, this might not seem like a lot of damage increase, but it actually is a really big deal. Reinhardt already does a ton of damage, especially when you talk about cleave damage swinging through the front line of the enemy team and hitting multiple people on the other side. On top of that, this increase in damage is not only going to affect breakpoints, just allowing him to potentially kill people a lot quicker or apply more damage to the front line so his teammates could follow up, but it's going to let him generate ult charge a lot quicker. So, you got to think about this. A lot of times, though, Ryan has to bounce between shield and press. Pressure, right especially when he's on that front line he wants to make sure that he has shield pressure and base health all up well because he has more armor he's going to be able to get more swings off because he does more damage he's going to be more impactful with the more swings that he can actually partake in and he's going to build more ult charge because he's swinging more now the potential here is actually playing a reinhardt with a lucio and you speed onto this double shield you put tons of pressure on their front line and you either do enough damage to them to pressure them off or potentially you actually just build your ultimate incredibly quickly you might even get enough damage to where enemies have to retreat or you actually generate some value and i could actually see a composition built around lucio ryan and zarya perhaps with characters that can really get in and brawl you know characters like reaper characters like may we could see a ryan zarya may brawl composition that is really really good at speeding into the enemy team and punishing them especially this double shield and we saw a lot of reaper may in the past with reinhardt in a double shield and that's kind of the fear where we see like Ryan and we see Ryan Arissa or we see Ryan Sigma and we see this like brawly style composition with Reaper May. However, I do think that Zarya might have a place in there where you play a Ryan Zarya and you play that brawl composition. So if you're looking for a composition to play, at the very least, I really do think a Ryan Zarya Reaper May Mora Lucio composition is going to be very powerful at tackling double shield and probably just in the abstract. And Ryan's increase in power level with his damage in particular is going to be really, really good at punishing monkeys that try to jump in so i think that the power level of ryan is going to enable those strategies but the fear is reinhardt could still be played in a double shield type composition we're gonna have to wait and see on that one but i do think that these changes are big enough to where we could see some power level shift away from that double shield and onto ryan based brawl compositions and as such like i said the stocks of characters that really want to get in dps characters that want to get in like may and reaper and doomfist even and then healers specifically lucio his stocks go up and then mora someone who could enable that composition going with them and provide enough healing to sustain that sort of brawl would probably be a very good composition to run but definitely let me know what you think about these changes in the comments down below and go to the game leap website right now for in-depth advanced guides over any of the characters we talked about or any of the characters in the game we have advanced videos tips and tricks and so much on the game leap website so do yourself a favor go check it out in the links down below but thank you so much for coming by that's all i got for you today i'm coach mills and of course until next time